Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you an all things Easter video. There is going to be a haul from things that I've bought this year, including some small businesses that I'd love to share with you. Also the Look Fantastic Beauty Egg, I'm gonna be unboxing that and also getting open the box from my Easter decorations last year, which a lot of things are actually still in store this year. So yeah, if you want to see what I've got, for Easter this year, then just continue to watch. <laughs> So if you're one of my lovely subscribers coming back, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new here, welcome. If you like this video, I would love for you to hit that little subscribe button down there or click on this little logo that might be in the corner and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's Everything Easter. <laughs> Okay, so I really wanted to do this video because I actually really, really love Easter. It's probably one of my favorite times of the year because I just love all the cute things. We do treasure hunts and Easter egg hunts with the boys. I love the Easter bits that you can get in store now. It's becoming bigger and bigger over here in the UK. I'm sure you'll agree. So anyway, what I wanted to do first is I'm gonna do some unboxings, but I really wanted to show you the small businesses first because obviously it's really important at the moment to promote small businesses and a couple of ladies that are actually followers and subscribers so hi ladies if you're watching um faye and amy they've actually sent me some bits over now the one item is already open and up so i'm going to insert a little clip here of me unboxing the products so it's from a company called Ivy and Poms and she sent me loads of information about her and she started this company in January 2022 and she has got a little girl called Ivy who was born in September 21. She's followed me for a while and um, she asked if she could send me out that bunny garland that I've just shown you which is here now. I'll show you another clip. It is absolutely stunning and her prices are really reasonable like she makes everything from hand. She's also over on Instagram so if you want to head over if you've got Instagram and follow Faye and also if you want to place an order head over to her Etsy shop one thing she does that's amazing as well is she does Fiverr Fridays or Friday Fiverr Fridays? Friday Fivers? <laughs> Fiverr Fiver Fridays. And today I almost bought another bun tin because there was an egg pom pom one and I was so, so tempted. But I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to buy something from her when the seasons change because the bunny one is just so, so cute. I'm sure you will agree. It is ivy and poms so yeah make sure you go and check her out and the second small business i've got to show with you is the beautiful amy she lives local locally to me and um, anyway she sent me over some amazing chocolate treats because it's easter easter without chocolate 
I don't think so. But I thought these were a great alternative to an Easter egg. And they are beautiful chocolate slab eggs. They come so beautifully packaged. She's made them personalised. This one is for Lucas. And this one is for Leo. I'm going to get them out so you can see them a bit better. They are in cellophane. But these, I think she sells them for £7. They are quite a decent slab. Like I say, she's personalised this one. These for Lucas and Leo. They've got little bunnies on and mini eggs and these little sprinkles that look like carrots. And then the back has got like a giant bunny. Can you, I don't know if you can see that because of the light. But yeah, she makes them with, with um, Belgian chocolate. And um, yeah, so she's just started doing these. She's just started up her Instagram. I will leave her Instagram handle down here. And again, I think she has an Etsy shop as well, or you can order through Instagram. So those are those. And she also sent me the other slabs she does, which are like really gigantic. These are, oh, she did one for, whoop, one for me and one for Matt. This one is an orange flavor one. And what I love about these is on the back, they're like squares of chocolate. So you can like break it off in portions so that, you know, I can, portion control a little bit not that i would um but they just look amazing i can't wait to eat them they've got like little multis and bunnies in and everything so yeah her name is amy and she's called the choco tribe um and so yeah i will leave her page below as well so that is some small business love which i hope you enjoyed and then now let's get on to the look fantastic beauty egg <gasps> now i thought we'd do this because it's all things easter and you know we like a little bit of beauty in there as well as it being a all-rounded channel this is really really lovely and this sold out so fast last year so if you want one i will leave my code below for you and my link i will leave all the information again below but this is how it comes in my opinion this is probably the best thing that look fantastic do all year i think it's the best like box i suppose it's classed as a box that they do i've still got my egg from last year which i actually use as a ornament because it is so beautiful how pretty is that just the packaging is just incredible. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to crack it open and show you what's inside. Because we know we're all dying to know. I haven't opened this myself either yet. So first thing I've spotted straight away because I'm an Elemis addict. It's the Elemis Superfood Cleansing Butter. I really wanted to try this oh my gosh and they're all full sizes as well let me just doesn't really smell of much now i love elements but if i'm honest it's something that i probably would never pay full price for i've got the night cream which i love and also the marine collagen oil which i really really love as well on a night time i use that when i go to bed so I'm really excited to try this. This is the AHA Glow Cleansing Butter, a pumpkin glow facial cleanser. Okay, you also get in there a little bottle of Uai, Uai, Uai hair oil. Is it going to focus? You get that in there. There is also soft focus glow drops illuminating glow primer from rodeal another really premium brand in there okay you also get a full-sized sensual foaming shower gel rice milk and cherry blossom from the brand ritual i love a shower foam i'm definitely a, a love foam burst so i'm really excited to give this a go that's there and while i'm focused you also get a extra large bombshell volumizer from color wow so this you put in damp hair i do really like this brand i've tried some of their products before so they've got your full size one of those oh my gosh i've just seen a medicaid product as well so you get the medicaid clarity peptide niacinamide infused peptide serum this is for your neck and decolletage 
I do really like this brand. I've got a serum that I use from them, which I haven't, I'm sure I use quite a lot actually. You also get an Eve Lom. Is this a hydration, moisturize, radiance and hydration? It's a lip balm, a little Eve Lom lip balm. I love Eve Lom. I'm just, the packaging on Eve Lom is like my, my goals. I just love it. So you get that and then finally in here we've got a Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. So you've got like a really nice, actually, that's a really nice array of products. You've got a body wash, then you've got some really nice creams, you've got a lip balm, you've got a volumizing um, thing for your hair and some hair oil. So it's a lovely little set actually. I know it's like Mother's Day coming up now. It's a really nice set actually i think that would make such an amazing gift for somebody as well even if you bought it just to get the stuff out of it because the elemis superfood is probably worth in fact i'll leave everything below so you can go and have a look but i bet that's worth a lot on it by itself can't wait to get the eve lom stuff out because i love a good lip balm so yeah that's the look fantastic egg this year Thank you so much. You look fantastic for sending it to me because genuinely I look forward to this now. I was really hoping, I was crossing everything that they were going to send me one. But you know, you can never guarantee. But when this came through the post, I was like, oh my gosh. I feel extremely lucky. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it and can't wait to try the things in there. Okay, let's move on to a little bit of a haul. So you've seen some of these things. Um, I've already shown you some of them actually because I did a B&M slash home bargains haul the other day. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything I had from everywhere. So let's start with B&M and some of my favorite bits, which were these basket, Easter baskets. I bought these for the boys. They were six pounds each, but I love them. They have got like a gingham interior. They are really good quality. These will be good year in, year out for the boys. So yeah, I was so, so pleased to get my hands on those. Anything else from B&M? Yes, the only other thing I bought from B&M was this bunny jar. But if I'm honest, I've got them in and home bargains for $1.99. I think it was $2.99 in B&M. And they've also got ones with white ears in the range for $4.99. But I picked this up to go. I've got some little bunny marshmallows that I bought from Poundland, which I'm going to pop in here, which I will show you in a second. And then shall we move on to Poundland while we're there? So yeah, so these... Oh. The home bargain. So yeah, while I was in Poundland, I bought up these mallow bunnies. They are like little marshmallow bunnies. They are gonna go in my jar. I did the hearts for Valentine's Day and then, I've, and then I've got the bunnies for Easter. And then also in Poundland, I picked up these sunflower napkins. There are 20 in there for one pounds, which I thought was so cute. And not just for Easter, they can be used all year round, can't they? And, well, especially in the summer, I think they're lovely. Then, oh my gosh, I got my hands on some. Amy from the Chocolate Choco Tribe actually is very local to me, as I said, and she actually picked these up for me. So thank you so much, Amy. They are the egg plates. These were £1.50 each, but they are such good quality. They are like a speckled, see if I can get it close enough to show you. They are like a speckled pattern and they almost feel like stoneware. Um, they are really thick, really beautiful, a decent size, and these were £1.50 each. They're not suitable for the microwave, but I've bought them more for the boys for like, for Easter breakfast, or even when they have the chocolate, like to put the chocolates on and stuff. I just thought they were so, so lovely. And because they're nice and plain, they will just like, again, something that will stand the test of time, because you can use them when they're older as just like plates for Easter breakfast. So yeah, I got four of those. And that is everything from Poundland. So let's move on to Home Bargains. So Home Bargains, I picked up some more bunting. Now I love my Ivy and Palms bunting, don't get me wrong. That's something that will stay in my kitchen. But outside, I like to have bunting too. And I don't want to put something expensive and so beautiful out there. So I picked up another one of these wooden buntings from Home Bargains. These are just £1.69, I think, and they are really, really good. However, my one that I had, I think I bought it two years ago. I used it, have you, 
I've used it two years in a row and it's looking a bit weathered now. So this is what it looks like. And I'll show you on the back. There you go. And yeah, that is what it looks like on the back. So I'm sure it was one, 159 or 169, but I that to use that outside on the decking. Okay, I also picked up just a couple of treats. Um, to be honest, I normally get like the pound, <clears throat> little pound eggs. Um, but I picked these up because the boys were with me. I think they were just like 79p each or something. And then they also wanted the little gold foil bunnies. So I picked up a pack each for those. Never take the kids <laughs> shopping with you. That's my advice. Because they also decided to pick themselves up a bunny each. But I couldn't resist. These were so, so lovely. I think they were just one ninety nine each, if I remember rightly. And they had this colour, white. And I think they also had... I think they had another colour as well. I'm not 100% sure. I picked up one of these each and I just thought they were so cute. They can actually probably go in their bunny basket on Easter. Um, so yeah, picked them up with those. And finally, from Home Bargains, one of the most amazing finds this year. If you followed me for a while, you will know that I got the glass pumpkin. I got the glass Christmas tree. And yes, my friends, Home Bargains have stepped up their game yet again for Easter. How gorgeous are these glass egg jars? I got in there fast. I got myself some. I'm gonna open them up to have a look. Well, if I can get them open. But they are so thick and such good quality. I can't tell you how good quality they are. The glass is so, so thick. That is the small one and that is the, oh, don't drop them. The big one for 5 dollars for the set. I don't even know how they do it, you know, because just like the weight of them is unbelievable. But I've picked them up and I'm going to fill them with some little eggs. I think they will look so cute on the side for Easter. So yeah, I picked those up. And finally, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I have got out of the garage from last year because they are still in the shops and I'm just going to grab them. So the first thing is this bunny wreath. I bought this last year. I'm pretty sure it was £12. I can't 100% remember, but they definitely have this in again. It is the cutest little bunny wreath. And again, I've just tried to buy things that I can use year in, year out. So this was from b and I think it was £12. And yet, yeah, this is going on my front door again this year. So this little guy was from this little guy was from Home Bargains. They also have him in this year, so that is something I picked up last year. This wreath is also Home Bargains. I can't remember exactly how much this was. I think it was about three or four pounds. Um, but I really love this. This goes on my back door. And I just love like the bunny theme, the natural theme going through the house. I just think it's so, so cute. And it's got the little gingham yellow bow on there. I also last year picked up these bunnies. They have different ones in this year, but they are really, really cheap. I think they're really like £1.29. These are going to sit on my kitchen shelf, and I just really loved these from Home Bargains last year. And like I say, they've got them in again, um, £1.29 each. Next up, I picked this up from b &M last year. I think this one was £8. I will say some of the like egg bits have peeled off on some of them but it doesn't matter because it's a really nice rustic look this is actually another wreath but i use this on my dining table as a centerpiece because i just think it's so beautiful and I, if i'm honest i just couldn't pick between them all but i'm pretty sure this was about eight pounds as well from b m another thing that i picked up last year which they have in again in poundland were the little bunnies i'm sure you will have seen these going around on instagram and social media i picked up every single color because i've got an issue um they had pink yellow blue and there is also like a 
white pearlescent as well and then i picked up another color and actually sprayed one gold as well from my living room these again poundland one pound each i really do think it's worth if you're going to get things just to invest and use them year in year out i just think that's definitely the way forward and i also picked up these little um cracked glass eggs as well these actually open up um I'll see if I can show you this. I've got my hands full of like Easter stuff. You should see it in here. Um, this actually opens up and it's a little like trinket tray. This one has chipped a little bit in storage though, so I must make sure I wrap them up this year. Um, but yeah, they also do those in loads of different colours from Poundland. And then finally, I'm just going to show you these because I actually didn't get these out last year. I'm going to keep them in the kitchen and not just have them for Easter because I think they are so beautiful. And they are from Aldi. They are these kind of egg and soldier plates. They are wooden. They do them in loads of different styles. I'm pretty sure they're about 4 99 but I can't remember exactly. But they are called brunch serving boards is what they're named. And these have got like little dinosaurs on and it says my dippy egg and soldiers and yeah i'm going to keep them out in the kitchen because like i say i think they're nice for all year round but i put them in my easter box for some reason so i thought i would share it with you so that is it guys that is everything easter i really hope you enjoyed this video what was your favorite thing if you did like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care Sad night